Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to talk to you all about a little upcoming PSVR title called Alvo. Now fans of Firewall Zero Hour may already be well aware of Alvo as it was and still is being touted by many as being direct competition to our favourite PSVR shooter. Now let me get one thing out of the way. I am a community moderator for First Contact Entertainment, so if you perceive me as being negative towards Algo, you may want to think that I'm just a Firewall fanboy, and if you want to believe that, then go ahead, but I'm just going to say that I'm going to attempt to be as impartial as I can, and you can come to your own conclusions, whatever you think yourself. Anyway, let's just jump right into the video. So Algo is a very interesting title, I think. I mean, it's very notable for its troubled development. So let's start from the beginning here. So in November 2017, a studio by the name of Mardon Pole revealed Alvo with the trailer. So Mardon Pole was a studio notable for one previous game that also released on PSVR called Quiz Night Tonight. Some of you may know about Quiz Night Tonight, but for those of you who may not have heard, it was a quiz game that was pretty much universally panned by just about anyone who played it. I've never heard anyone say a good word about it, I don't think at least. So when I heard that Marden Pole were developing Alvo, that was a huge red flag for me straight away. But looking at the trailer that they released alongside the Alvo announcement, you could see that Alvo looked a lot more ambitious than Quiz Night. It had 5 versus 5 first person shooter combat with aim controller support, it had cross play with riffs and vive players, it had three different game modes, it had function and scopes on the sniper rifles, you know, it had a lot going for us. But I had my suspicions that nothing in that trailer was actual gameplay, at least not PS VR gameplay. Maybe it was in-engine, but judging by the way that the supposed players were moving around and whatnot, it just didn't look like VR gameplay, it was all very scripted looking, in my opinion. Well that's not necessarily a bad thing, there's plenty of games out there that just show CGI trailers, and back then, Alvo had a 2018 release date window, so there was plenty of time for them to show off PS VR footage later down the line. So what happened next? Well, nothing. Weeks became months and not much was heard about Alvo. Eventually, rumours started to spread about the possibility that Alvo was cancelled, with Reddit user DeadRinger28 here posting this on the PS Viewer subreddit, where he emailed a developer at Mardenpole and they responded saying that they had lost their investor and unfortunately Alvo was cancelled as a result and the team had split up. This was in early 2019 and so it became widely accepted that Alvo was done. I even made this unbelievably slick play on words at the time when reporting on it. Alvo, more like no, though. Fast forward to 24 days ago, in the middle of the firewall zero hour operation nightfall downtime, a new post was made on the PS Viewer subreddit by a developer from Mardenpole. The dev went by the name of RedRad56 on Redis, and he posted a lengthy message to the PS Viewer community in regards to Alvo. Most importantly, he told us that Alvo had been brought back from the dead. He explained that Alvo had been cancelled all the way back in early 2018 but never informed people as he had lost all his savings and entered a depression as a result of their original investor pulling out and leaving them with nothing. He then explained that he moved on to another project before being approached by a member of the PSVR subreddit to put together a new team made up of both new and old members and get back to work on Alvo. So it sounds like that this person from the PSVR subreddit became the new investor if I'm understanding this correctly. So Red Red went on to say that they don't want to overhype or overpromise on Alvo but that it would be releasing this year for sure, before posting these nice images of one of their maps that is in development right now. Red Red then went on to say that they've been paying close attention to the frustration of the community in regards to other online PS Viewer games and that we could rest assured that Alvo would address those issues. Now he didn't name us, but it's pretty blatant that this is a remark about Firewall Zero Hour. And this may be his way of saying that Alvo will have host migration or dedicated servers, something which Firewall doesn't have and which has been a source of frustration for Firewall players since launch. Finally, Red Rad addressed the hate for Quiznice 
explaining that Quiznice had very little budget and was made more of a way for them to test out the PSVR and PS4 development. And on top of all of that, he states that Quiz Night was made by a single dev and that this developer is no longer on the team. Red Rad urged us not to judge Algo by the quality of Quiz Night tonight and instead pointed out another game that Marden Pole have since been working on as a measuring stick as to what they are capable of. And I must admit that hearing this new info has made me less concerned about Algo if all this is true. Anyway, so I checked out the link and it's a Steam game called Tech Core. And you can see the gameplay style of this in the background here. It's a Tech Core simulator type thing, maybe it looks like The Sims, something along those lines. Not really comparable to an online first person shooter like Alvo, but it does look better than Quiz Night. I did some more digging on that Steam page and found that the game was originally supposed to go into early access in February with the planned release date in April, but then it got pushed back to June 20th. Then, just one week before it was due to launch, it received a further delay to somewhere between July 15th and July 20th. The reception to this news from those interested in TechCore has not been too positive, many of whom are tired of the repeated delays. Checking out Red Rad's profile on Redis and checking his submitted post history shows that as recently as 12 days ago, Merton Pole were hiring for new developers with PS viewer experience as well as QA testers and 3D modelers. So when you combine this with the fact that Marden Pole have a history of delaying their other title, Tech Core, multiple times, plus the fact that they're actually developing Tech Core alongside Alvo, plus the fact that Alvo will be multi-platform with PC VR, unless things have changed in that regard, I have some reservations about Red Rad's claims that Alvo will be definitely out this year, but I'd be very happy to be proven wrong on this. It also kind of rubs me the wrong way that Alvo had been cancelled in early 2018 and the devs kind of just kept us all hanging in the air for over a year before letting us know about that, during which time they went off to work on Tech Core. Finally, I'm also concerned that with six months left to go in 2019, we haven't seen one second of actual PSVR gameplay footage from Alvo yet. But regardless, I'm still very interested in Alvo, I'll be keeping my eye on it for sure. I love Firewall, so if this game is similar to Firewall, I might love it too. But I want to know what you guys think. I did a poll on the channel recently asking you guys what 2019 PS Viewer title you were most anticipating between four big games and Alvo came in second place. So I know a lot of you out there are interested also, but I want to know what you think about Alvo in more detail. Should we disregard Quiz Night Tonight, like Red Rat asks? Should we be worried about the delays that their other Steam game is currently in the middle of? Are you concerned that we actually haven't seen Alvo in action yet? Or do you think Alvo will take Firewall's crown as best PSVR shooter? Let me know down below. That's it for this video lads and ladies. Before I go, let me give a huge massive thanks to my Patreon supporters. I gained two more last night, so that was amazing. Thank you lads and ladies very much. I truly do appreciate the help. We're working towards a new mic and capture card, and we'll get there in no time thanks to you. If you'd like to join the Patreon, link is in the description, but if you want to help out the old fashioned way then I'd also appreciate giving the vid a thumb, thumb down even if you didn't like us, and comments, shares, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one, bye for now.